Mike, I've got the Penn State hat on. I noticed last week there was an awful glare from my head, so I thought I'd wear the hat. Now, I think every week I'm going to wear some clean Penn State to show as a graduate that, you know, there's more to the university than just football, even though that's what our segment's about here. But, uh, yeah, man, I, I heard the other day that a girl thought she wasn't going to get hired for a job because of what's going on at Penn State. I thought that's going a little bit far here. Tell me about the atmosphere before this game took place on Saturday. What was it? Was it a circus? How many rings were there for the circus? Three rings, four well, you rings, know what? six uh, rings. <laughs> it was. I'm going to put it at two rings. Oh, I, okay. I, it was strange, but it was honestly less strange than I expected it to be. The 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 West the Westgate uh, West Lake Baptist Church people yeah. were there, as it turned out, but I didn't see them there, and they apparently were. Did not create much of a ruckus. I didn't see any I, any you know video of them or anything like that. There were there were not a lot of crazy protests that I'm aware of, and according to everything I that I saw, and according to everything I read since. So so it was a little bit. It was incredibly. It was tough to get in there. Um, but but they, as far as the security that we encounter getting in, like checking your bag, it was about like normal, mm. maybe a little more thorough than normal, but they always check our bags and stuff. Um, and because they know that we're seedy, questionable people, Starkey. Yeah. So, so you know, it, I mean, it was... It was media. Yeah, and, and then it was, one of those, it was one of those situations where... I, I remember when I was a little kid at the Super Bowl. You're so hyped up for the Super Bowl that it almost seems a little weird to you when they actually kick off and start playing, and it's just another football game. And right. th- there was a little bit of that, too. Yeah. Once they started playing football, like, well, I thought the, uh, I thought the pregame stuff was very appropriate, but I'm not a big ceremonial guy. I mean, it was fine, but I didn't, I, I wasn't, uh, you know, deeply moved by it or anything. It was fine. It was, it was very, very in, in good taste and appropriate and, and I think very heartfelt for a lot of people. Um, so, again, two ring circus. Two ring. Uh, the, the thing with the Baptist church, they, they, the flyer they had out said, uh, God hates raping coaches. I thought that was very, uh, I, I thought they'd Good be call. Yeah. Way, to, way, to, way to go out on the limb on that uh, one. When, when they all came together, to the two teams, and, and there was a prayer, that was very moving. I thought it was really odd, though, when the fans started clapping in the middle. It almost felt like, all right, that's enough. Get yeah, back, that, back you know to your what? corners. I'll be honest with you. I think that's exactly what it was. Really? They were ama- 107,000 people incredibly silent, and then it was... It was going on a while. Okay, guys, you know, it's so so yeah. I think that's, I, I, nobody, maybe not consciously, but subconsciously, I think that's exactly what that was. <laughs> that's how I felt like at home when it was going on. <laughs> uh, and they're showing some young boy crying. Like, you have no clue, kid, what's, right. what, okay. All right, start. Then the game starts, <laughs> and I go back to forgetting about all the turmoil this week. I forget that Joe's not on the sideline. He's no longer there. Because, because he may as well have been. Yes, mm. yes. So they, they do tribute to the first play, a halfback pitch. I thought, great. Yeah, <laughs> now it's first, second and nine. Uh, <laughs> offensively frustrating. And there's Matt McGloin. And I just forget about all the other problems and just remember how horrible he is. He's not just the worst quarterback in, in Big Ten. He's the worst quarterback in Division One football oh, well, right yes, now. Except for Rob Bolden. Well, yes, <laughs> yes. But he's um, not a starter right now. It's McGloin. Yeah. Worst starter in Division One football. If they had any semblance of a quarterback out there, Mike, they win that game. Seventeen fourteen. Uh, well, I mean, I, I think if I think if they, I thought the offense was poor. I thought they would run the. They didn't run the ball very effectively. Right. And, and I thought, I thought, in, I thought to Nebraska's credit, they took the run away and also took the deep ball away. They they managed to keep Penn State in front of them in the passing game, and and uh, and, and that that you know that. McGloin has some problems with that. Yeah. If, if he can't heave it down the field, he, yeah. he, he can't figure out what to do next. That's a problem. So, so I mean, essentially, I, I'm not disagreeing with you. Their, their quarterback play was not very good. Their offense was not very good. And uh, now they have two games left with a one-game lead in yeah. their division. Um, and, uh, you know, they still have a chance to accomplish some things, and they and it could still all come crashing okay. down. I thought they had to beat Ohio State this week. If they win one of the next two, they were in good shape. You're saying, no, 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 no. They, gotta win all, they, got, they, they can lose to Ohio State. And then they got to beat Wisconsin. They'd be okay, right, to get to the championship yes, game. Yes, they, they, they. That's right. Yeah, if they, they, if they go, if they, they can lose one. They have one game lead. They have right, one right, game right. lead in the division. If they beat Ohio State and lose to Wisconsin, Wisconsin would get it because Wisconsin tie is break. the team that's one behind and would win the tiebreaker by on, beating them on head the head to head. Head to head. Okay, yeah. makes sense. Can they beat Ohio State this week? I mean, I, I thought they could beat Nebraska, and quite frankly, they should have. They could have beat Nebraska. They, you know, probably they could have. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I think well, they I'm can beat Ohio State. Beat I think Nebraska. Nebraska. No, stop it, Starkey. I think Nebraska Casey is Pryor, better than. Uh, Rubenthal. I think Nebraska is yeah. better than Ohio State, 
And uh, so I, I think they can win the game. I, I, you know, again, we're on this uncharted territory in terms of motivation, though. I think this is weird. Last week was kind of a special situation. Now you got to go on the road. Uh, it's a whole different animal. I'm not, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think it's very important that they have a specific, tangible thing to play for because otherwise I really think they could hit the, they could hit the skids.